Hi Scorpio, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-July general reading. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Scorpio, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Scorpio, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love, in romance, or in relationships with right now. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Scorpio, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time, I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to find out to see who wins the pick a card, okay? Let's get right into it. Again, this is your mid-July general reading for Scorpio. We've got three more shuffles. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Scorpio in mid-July? What is it that they need to hear, see, or know at this time? And y'all know the drill. Not every single thing I'm going to say or every message is going to resonate. So just take what does resonate and simply leave the rest. Okay, Scorpio, we've got the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you see clearly, you know, um, you've been maybe served a truth or you understand um, a higher perspective. Um, something that was hard for you to see, you see it now. Something that was hard for you to see, you see it now. That is your message. Something was almost like kind of clouding your vision in regards to your situation. But now there's something about now you're like, oh, I see now. I'm in the King of Swords. You're open to talking about it and you're making a plan about it. Ooh. Okay. Scorpio, what's the current situation? Seven of Cups. So yeah, you have a lot of options in front of you on what you want to do in your situation. Um, this is about you making a huge decision leveling up here. And there's lots of different ways um, that you can go about this. What's crossing you right now? To the Moon card and the Strength card. Ooh, Pisces, Cancer energy, and also um, Leo for some of you, Two of Wands. So this is you definitely wanting to take a new direction in a situation. It feels very emotional. It feels like this is really emotionally hard for me to get through. This is emotionally hard for me to get through what I'm hearing. This is emotionally hard for me to get through. What's the uh, focus here? What's the focus here for Scorpio? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands is um you're at the end here of some type of cycle or chapter. Three of Wands, you um you're waiting for something better. Um, you're you're really open to new horizons, new experiences, Scorpio. But whatever's been going on in the current situation, your focus is how do I lay this burden down? How do I? Um, I'm almost hearing like delegate. How do I? How do I release this? Okay. Um, for some of you, people might be wanting to help you um, put some of these burdens down. Okay. So I do feel like an ending of a cycle or chapter for a lot of you. That's been very, very heavy. What's been in the recent past for Scorpio? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So making a plan. Making making plans, planting seeds of intention. Yeah, your intuition was giving you signs in your recent past um, to do something about your situation, to start closing it down. Mm -hmm. What's been, uh, what's crowning? What's crowning Scorpio right now? Yeah, seven of swords. You can't trust someone. You can't trust someone. You're very suspicious of someone. Justice energy. You are trying to do what's best, what's fair, what's right for you and for everyone in the situation, but you don't trust whoever you're dealing with right now. You don't trust them for a second. Some of you are really dealing with a snake. Yeah. And then five of swords popped out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone's giving you a lot of conflict. It's like, I kind of feel for some of you bear with me here. Like if someone you've been dealing with, um, like the way they're giving you conflict is like, it's so childish. It's like, they send you this like maybe messed up message or it's really rude or it's really manipulative or it's like definitely hurts or you're just like, okay. And, and instead of you being able to reply, you're like blocked off or 
You know what I mean? Like there's something about, they like, they say something and then run away in the night. Like they don't even, there's something about, you don't even have a chance to reply. You don't even have a chance to be like, hey, that wasn't cool. Let's talk about it. Like, cause someone knows, I'm picking up very specifically here that someone knows that they did you wrong and they can't even face you right now by something they said or did. What's around the corner for Scorpio? What's in the near future? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. I wasn't gonna take it, but I feel like we should. Justice. And then we have the Five of Cups. So this is an apology for what this person did. This person, um, it does look like they're gonna try to own up here to what they did. It's gonna come through as apology from a Page of Pentacles energy. So not, don't expect the world from this person. Um, Yeah, Ace of Wands, there's a new beginning for you here. After you drop this load, you get the Ace of Wands. After you drop those 10 wands, you get a fresh, you get a fresh wand. You get a fresh start at something. Okay. The weather's changing. Things are changing. The weather's literally, I'm watching it change right now. Things are really rapidly changing in your life right now. Like the thing, like I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get like Wheel of Fortune anytime now. What's your power? Six of Pentacles, Hangman, Chariot. Yeah, you can either stay where you're at or you can get moving. But either way, you you've got to find balance here. Um, yeah, your power is is what you can give to. What what energy? What what group are you gonna give to? Yeah. Yeah, your power here, Scorpio, also is yeah, um, is finding balance in your situation. But for yourself, also for some of you, I don't like how my cards just did that. Um, also for some of you, whatever it is that you're going through, you might be like the perfect advice for someone else. Like you might have the perfect. Um, I don't know, I'm just coming through that way. Like whatever you're going through, if there's someone that you know that's like going through this as well, um, you might know how to help them as well. The weather. What's hidden from Scorpio? Yeah, nine of swords. Um, I don't think you know how much this person is stressing about you. Knight of Pentacles. They want to come through with a bigger energy, but I feel like that's going to be later down the road. What are your hopes and fears? Emperor. So this is about a, a divine masculine for a lot of you, or it could be about um, your, your job. Cards just keep flipping. Three of swords keep showing up. Mm. What's the outcome here? And then let's talk about it. What's the outcome here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio, we do have the Five of Pentacles. So this is a very challenging time for you. You could feel very lonely right now. Um, you could feel very, I'm hearing abandoned. You might feel abandoned by a person or situation. Knight of Cups is behind you, King of Pentacles lovers. This does feel a little bit more close to home, like romantic partner for a lot of you, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I do feel like you know that something's got to end and you're like, well, I'd rather be alone than I'm happy. So I got to go do what's best for me. And the starting energy with the seven of cups, there's a lot of there. You have a lot of options. There's a lot of if you're interested in new people in the down the road, there's a lot of new people coming for you. If there's, um, you know, new jobs, if there's like, hey, I'm not happy. And if it's about career for you, um, I'm not happy in my career. This has been really difficult. You've got tons of other options, different departments, different ways to go about this, okay? Um, but also with the Seven of Cups, it can be confusing. It can almost be too many options where, um, you know, that can be confusing. What's crossing you? The Moon card and this with the Strength card that's deep and that's heavy. Or just some very deep, heavy emotions about the situation. I do feel a very deep and strong tie to someone here with the Strength card being here. Leo and Pisces, Cancer, uh, Leo, Pisces and Cancer energy here um, for some. 
but your focus is, I can't do this, is this has been too hard. Um, this has been too much of a, a burden instead of too much, instead of a blessing, right? This has been too much of a burden instead of a blessing. In the past, you were getting signs to start making plans now to shift out of this situation. Your crowning energy with the seven of swords, again, is like mistrust and betrayal. Um, and just look at this card. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see like this person it's like tells you one or two things right here. Like they leave you with a message, but then boom, boom, boom. Like they, they slide out with the rest of the messages or with the rest of whatever they were going to say. Like this person feels very untrustworthy right now. In the near future, they, too they do take a positive step forward in wanting to apologize, but there is a lot of disappointment here. Five of Cups is um, definitely, but I see both of you very much like emotionally, you know, connecting here about the past and what went wrong and like understanding also, also both parties understanding, yeah, I might have done that. Yeah, I might have done that. I understand the role I played. You understand the role you played. Okay, well, that's over. Let, let's let bygones be bygones here. Your power is to truly find balance. And I also feel like the hangman here is um, for those of you that might feel like you have to explain yourself to others um, or something like that. Like if other people have a lot of questions about this, don't feel like you owe anybody any kind of explanation, Scorpio. Um, this is this is your life and your journey here, okay? Um, and for some of you, you still have a lot to process in regards to the situation and you do need to grant yourself that time to process. What's hidden from you is the nine of swords. Um, someone or a situ this person or whatever in this situation that is so, 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 so stressed out. Um, they're really having a lot of anxiety. They're not sleeping well at night. Um, for sure. Your hopes and fears with the emperor being here is that you have good a good hold over the situation. I also feel if this is about love for you, that your hope is, um, you know, to find your right divine masculine person that you would be waiting on or divine feminine for the guys watching or y'all know what I mean. Um, but I also feel like your fear here as being the emperor is that um, especially as the if with the females here is, is staying strongly in that divine masculine energy. And for some of you, um, the single ladies out there, sometimes being living too much in your masculine energy is so draining because you're constantly protecting yourself. Um, so I do, I am picking up on someone who's like, I'm tired of being the man in the relationship, right? But I don't mean the man, I mean like the masculine. Um, so for some of you, it's like you're, you've exhausted your masculine energies in a situation um, and that can go vice versa for some of you you've played too much of the feminine role and the other party wasn't um, into the emotions enough do you know what I'm saying um, the outcome here is beautiful you have the ace of pentacles there's a new door of opportunity opening for you because of the situation that is very specifically how spirit said it because of how this is going down you're getting an ace you're getting a new beginning a windfall of money, inheritance, a new job. If it's about a new person coming, Ace of Pentacles, this is going to be practical, long lasting, and a huge blessing for you. Huge. Okay. You can do this in your pre-shuffle. You have the magician at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. And I kept, I kept hearing, you know, uh, you can do it. You can do it. What is that from those Adam Sandler movies? I forget what that character's name. You can do it. What is that? You can do it. Oh my God. A, a million of y'all are going to tell me in the, in the comments, but you can do it. You have all of the tools, Scorpio. You can um, master this situation here. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Let's get some more details here. Why does Scorpio have the seven of cups? Uh, yeah, we have the moon card, hangman in reverse. Two of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're, you are feeling some type of um, divine inspiration. You feel a very passionate new beginning in your situation. Justice in reverse. Where you've received an injustice, you're going to take that energy and use it for something better. Like I feel for some of you, say for example, you might be going through like a breakup or, some, or a separation, something like that, right? And you're like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do, but... 
I'm not going to sit here and be angry about it. I'm going to use that energy and go write a book. I'm going to go paint a painting. I'm going to go like a lot of you are putting your injustices, your frustrations in that with that. You're and now that's magician energy. Now that is magician energy. You're transmuting your pain, your suffering and your injustices and you're putting it into for a lot of you a passionate new beginning, a new chapter in your life. Um, in a very creative way. And I'll, the hangman in reverse too. Um, we have the hangman here, which we'll look at. But you are very enlightened. You really see clearly about the situation where again, in the past moon card, you didn't see clearly. It was very foggy for you in the situation in the past. Nine times out of 10, I'm picking up here. Oh, it just started raining. That's why I'm like, it was literally bright and sun and shiny. Then it started, whatever, getting uh, windy. And now it's like raining. So all in your reading. <laughs> Anyways, Scorpio, this is a new this is a new horizon for you. This is a new chapter in your life. That spirit is meeting you in the middle here. I know this sounds cheesy, but I'm hearing that song. Um, why can't you just meet me in the middle? Um, spirit is meeting you in the middle, but you have to take the first step is what they're saying. Okay. Um, so let's look at your crossing energy of the moon and the strength card here. I want to look at them together. Excuse me. I guess I'm not going swimming today. Why is this crossing Scorpio? Ten of Cups. Because ah, you've had it really good with this person or in this situation before. That's why. Because you you have you have had emotional fulfillment. Two of Cups is here with this person in this situation, and that's why it's hard. What's why is this crossing? Yeah, there it is. There it is. They're not trustworthy. Seven of swords. Liar. Liar. Also, take this with, you know, don't kill me here. Um, Scorpio, for some of you specifically, you've been lying to yourself about the situation. You know what I mean? Like making excuses for this person, making excuses for the situation. Why is the Ten of Wands the focus for Scorpio? Wow. Eight, eight of Swords in reverse. Very, very good. You have, you're definitely breaking chains. You're definitely, um, you're handling this amazingly. You're not, like if you're really upset about this, um, you're not, which I feel like of course you are, you're not um, like reacting the way that you have before. Like you're, you've learned to handle this in a different light, in a different type of way to where it's not going to affect you the way that it did before. Yeah, Knight of Swords on your Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Scorpio? Let's get one more. Thank you. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're definitely coming out of your comfort zone. Um, this this situation or connection for a lot of you. Um, yeah, King of Swords in reverse. I feel like either you or them has been in denial about this connection. But right now with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, you are ready to release it. You have been holding on to it. It's been a comfort zone for you. Okay. But Knight of Swords is like, okay, I know my truth now. Remember we saw the King of Swords at the beginning. Okay, I see clearly now. I see clearly. I understand. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to open up and get out of here. Um, why has the Seven of Pentacles been in the past for Scorpio? Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, again, that's your sign of like, hey, this might be coming to a halt here. Uh, Ten of Wands in reverse is you were feeling this ending coming. You were feeling this ending coming. I don't know why this whole deck is trying to be funny over here. Um, yeah, Devil, you were definitely dealing um, with a toxic person work career work or careers could have been just a toxic environment for you and you've been making plans Scorpio in your recent past you've been planting little seeds to move on from this why has the seven of pentacles been in the recent past um six of pentacles 
Six of Wands in reverse with, yeah, there's your signs, the High Priestess, okay? For some of you, for some of you, um, you have the Nine of Wands here too. This is a quick, once you make that decision, you're going to make it very quickly. Um, for some of you, like in a relationship, for example, um, for some of you, you might have been in this connection, relationship, marriage, whatever, because it's like what you were supposed to do. Like you're like, well, my friends are getting married, so it's time for us to get married. Or my friends are like, you know, having kids, so I don't really feel like it's kids, but you know what I mean? Like my friends are doing that or that's what we're supposed to do is I'm supposed to be with someone, right? So, um, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like, you know, like, well, I, I can't settle here because just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean that this is my person. You know what I mean? Like I do feel um, like maybe for some of you, you stayed in it because it was what you were supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is take care of you and make sure that you're um, living your best life. Okay. It's okay, Bubba. It's, you know, it's raining. He doesn't like the, hey, he's a Scorpio. Bubba, it's okay. He doesn't like the rain, so he's going to come hang out. It's okay, bub. He's a Scorpio like you guys. <laughs> um, okay. Why is the Seven of Swords, why is the Seven of Swords crowning? What is the Seven of Swords about? Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone, someone, no matter how hard they try, cannot talk about their emotions, cannot be emotionally available for you. Okay. Even though they're like, yeah, I want to work on it. Yeah. Like let's, yeah. Like I, I'm totally open. Like let's talk, you know, but at the end of the day, they like run from their emotions. You know what I mean? That is totally who I'm picking up on. Um, why is the seven of swords crowning Scorpio judgment in reverse? There's your five of swords in reverse too. So yeah, um, I do feel like in the past, you might have felt like you settled here, you know, and you're like upset. You're like, man, I made a bad decision in the past. Not bad decision, but you're like, I feel like you're being a little hard on yourself on your decision. Like, man, I should have moved on sooner than later. Strength card. Yeah, this has been difficult. This, is, this has been a difficult journey for you to endure for sure. But you are so strong. Um, that's easier for me to say than for you to know that. Um, happiness is yours. I mean, look at all that yellow here. Happiness is right around the corner for you in this situation, okay? <laughs> it's okay, mom. He's like right by my feet now. Okay, let's look at your future energy all together. This is an apology. This is definitely an apology. And also for a small group of you, I am picking up now that um, this person might even offer you like a gift um, something physical, like a gift to be back in your good graces. And I mean, not just like a cup of coffee. It's going to be like a, a, like something very specific to be like, Hey, but it's like something very, it may not be the biggest thing, but it's very unique, excuse me, and specific to the two of you. And whatever that is, it's either going to like, it's going to give you another sign of like, whether this is for you or not. Yeah, that's very specific. What's this future energy about? Page of Pentacles, Justice, Five of Cups. This is, you know, for a lot of you, an apology from this person that they owed you an apology. Cho, it's all right, Bubba. What's this future energy about? Yeah, Sun card and your Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? Um, so this is about your happiness and you're not confused anymore. Let's get one more. Why is this? Yeah, see, you see your truth. You you um, have a new beginning here. Scorpio, this is beautiful. Five of Pentacles for some of you. Yeah, you might feel like I'm off on my own for a minute, but you're great on your own. I feel like you're a badass when you're on your own. Um, you know what I mean? I feel like you are like separating yourself from the situation because it's like once you see what you see, you can't go back. Once you know what you know, you can't unknow it. Like that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. Like once you see or know or, or get served this truth, I feel like from this person for a lot of you, because it's on this page of pentacles, um, you're like, okay, well, any 
confusion I had about this, you just settled it there for me. So now I know what I need to do, right? <laughs> um, let's clarify. What's this six of pentacles about for Scorpio? Three of pentacles in reverse, uh, hermit in reverse, Virgo's card. Ooh, four of wands in reverse. King of wands in reverse. Ooh, yeah, this was a very imbalanced connection. Very imbalanced connection. So your power here is the whoop, hangman. I'm not taking those. Why is the hangman here for Scorpio? Nine of swords flipped in reverse. Very good. Yep. Page of wands. Yep. 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 Devil in reverse. You did it. You're doing it. You're getting away from this devil energy. Two of cups. It could be a friend or a connection here. Um, this person or situation, you're like, man, they sure are immature. Their actions are so petty. This this person is very petty, petty, petty energy. Big time. Sorry, y'all. You can do so much better. Um, why is the nine of swords hidden from Scorpio? Seven of wands in reverse. This person gives up on their beliefs just like that. They don't even trust themselves. This person's like, yeah, I'm going to do this tomorrow. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. And then you're like, oh, hey, did you go do that thing? Oh, no, I decided to go do this instead. And you're like, you hear that a lot from them. Like this person, they're a flip flopper real quick. Why is the nine of swords hidden from Scorpio? Oh, there's your emperor. There's your emperor, which is your hopes and fears. <laughs> Why is this nine of swords about two of pentacles in reverse? Okay. So this is, um, this is a slow moving energy here. I want to get one more on this emperor hidden from Scorpio. Okay, page of cups. This could actually be a new emperor, a new divine masculine coming in for a lot of you. Temperance. This is something coming in divine timing. There's someone actually picking up another um, storyline for some of you, Scorpio, that this um, person hidden from you, it could be another job opportunity coming if that's for you. But I feel like there's another person who is going through some something kind of similar than you um, where they're kind of dropping a situation that's been too heavy for them, um, that's been stressing them out. But when they think about you, they want to make a connection. So I feel a little bit like for some of you, this person's waiting for you. Who's this emperor in your hopes and fears? Emperor is Aries also. So maybe you could be connected to an Aries. King of swords in reverse. What's this emperor about? Oof, star in reverse. Temperance. It's a heal, healing connection, but I feel like you're not into it. You're not feeling optimistic. Um, like for those of you kind of sticking around in this, you're super like not feeling it. You're just like, well, I don't know where this is going. I'm not feeling it. This is very half glass empty instead of half glass full. You're hoping to heal. You're hoping temperance. You're hoping to be able to heal and move on and balance your energy. You're fearing um, kind of staying in this and like being confused and being lied to. King of, King of Swords in reverse is continued to being lied to. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in your outcome? Nine of Wands in reverse. You are opening yourself up. You're not closed off anymore. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the outcome? Eight of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Six of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Six of Swords. So again, you're moving away. Um, you're separating yourselves, moving on from, from a lot of you. Um, Six of Cups is soulmate or, or even like a, a connection. Could be even a friend um, that you've known for a long time. I have the Six of Cups with the Six of Wands. Y'all definitely have had a past life together. These are my two past life cards. And um, with the Eight of Wands here, I do feel like there's um, no communication or even blocked communication from some of you. And as that happens, your Ace of Pentacles comes in, like your new horizons or new opportunities are coming in. I'm so happy that you're coming out of conflict. Um, yes, you have um, been through a lot and you're ending things. Have you been served injustices? Yes, it's still here in reverse. 
but what's right behind you is you have the full card. There's a new dawn, there's a new day, there's a new life for you, okay? Um, I know that's easier than for me to say than for you to um, go through this, but you're moving on, you're in the boat, you're literally getting away, you're moving on from drama, from pain, from betrayal, and from abandonment, okay? I'm sending a lot of love, y'all know I love you so much. Um, for those of you that want to do the love reading, that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing in with. That you're. <laughs> that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love. That reading is the first link in the description box below. Um, let's do your pick a card, okay, Scorpio. Um, so the Scorpio that won the pick a card this time is Sarah Dickens. Sarah Dickens, you are my winner. So Scorpio, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I can tell if you're subscribed or not. There's no getting around that one. Be subscribed and leave your name. Um, if y'all don't leave your name, I can't write it on the card. So please leave your comments. Uh, please your, leave your name in the comments. Um, so yeah, be subscribed, leave your name. That's it. Next time I might pick you. I pick y'all completely at random as just my way to give back and say thank you for all of your love and support. Okay. I'll either see y'all next time or the love reading. Okay. All right, Sarah, this is for Sarah Dickens. How are you, my love? They're saying two more spirit. What are the best and highest messages for Sarah Dickens? She's a Scorpio, Sarah Dickens, Scorpio. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, Sarah, at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn you're dealing with. Okay, this person's eyes are closed. This person feels this is not, this is not you, I feel like. This is someone else. Could even be like a parent, um, someone older than you, a boss. Ace of Wands. This person doesn't want to listen to what you have to say. Um, what do we have for Sarah Dickens? Five of Swords. Oof. Major conflict. I'm so sorry. What do we have for Sarah Dickens? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, you, you, keeping it cool. Yeah, keeping it real cool. You're the Empress, for sure. Love that. Two of Wands. Eight of Swords, and then, then we have the Page of Cups here. Um... Okay, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, and we have the Five of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you and someone are not in a good place right now. There's been a lot of conflict, um, but I feel like you're ready to fight still. I feel like you, if this person were to call you right now, come towards you, and you're just like, huh, what? Like, you're ready to go. Like, you are ready to squabble. <laughs> But I do feel that you have a good reason to. Like many things are changing for you um, in this connection right now. King of Cups is you. I feel like you're playing it very cool, Empress. Um, you know, you're at a very, um, you're, you're showing up as divine feminine here. And that's saying that you're going to receive something. So there's a new chapter opening up for you that you will be receiving that you're very much in your head about. I feel like there's a... Um, it's like I, you don't know how to get started on this new chapter here of, of leaving this conflict behind and moving towards smoother sailing waters here. We're going to leave the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's a love offer coming in. What is this Five of Swords for Sarah? Four of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. And Two of Pentacles. Okay, Hangman. I feel like, yeah, you and this person have been going back and forth, um, been really stressed. Um, the connection was very out of balance here, okay? Um, this also for you could have been, or, or the other person involved could have been like a comfort zone um, kind of connection here. Why is the King of Cups here for Sarah? Three of Cups. Nine of Wands. Mm. 
And then the star card. Why does the three of cups come up here? Because then we have the then we have this cycle closed world card. What's this three of cups? Yeah, three of swords. I knew it. I was gonna say third party, but we got it clarified by the three of swords, eight of pentacles. Um, yeah, I feel also because it's two of pentacles that someone was juggling two people here. So unfortunately, I am now picking up a third party. Um, if that's even if your person wasn't say like physically cheating on you or something like that. Um, there's definitely an emotional, sorry, I just kicked the camera. Ugh. Um, I do feel like there is, I feel like someone was juggling two people. Okay. But what I was going to say, even if it wasn't physically, um, so if someone, if, even if your person wasn't physically like with someone else, like that kind of thing, definitely an emotional affair. It feels like. Where someone, instead of maybe running to you to connect with you when y'all have issues, this person runs to somebody else. A friend. I don't know who that other person is, but this person like runs to them, it feels like. And you're like, hey, are you in a relationship with me or are you in a relationship with that person? Like it feels definitely third party here. You are staying very optimistic, even though you're exhausted of being played by this person in this situation. Why is the Empress here for you? Ace of Swords. Why is the Empress here for Sarah? Mm, seven of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, Five of Cups. You're realizing, you're seeing a truth about um, this situation. It's, it's going to... You're, you're finding out that someone lied and we have the three of pentacles here, here again. So something about the situation, there was a lie. Um, and it even could be you, I feel like, where maybe you might have, because you're showing up as the empress here. I don't know if you've been seeing someone else and maybe you're pregnant now with someone else's baby because I'm picking up like major third party. Um, Someone definitely crying over finding out that, or it could be someone, you know, maybe you're, if there's a third party, maybe someone else got pregnant. I am picking up a, an energy like that or getting news like that, or even, or even if that's not fully the case, someone even being like, um, I think I got my person, this other person pregnant. Like, uh Oh, what do I do now? It's very messy. I will say that for sure. What's this two of pentacles for Sarah? Sun card. By you moving on and putting this behind you, you're going to find your best days, okay? What's this two of wands for Sarah? Um, it's going to be hard, but you have to talk yourself through it. You have to clear the air here. What's this two of wands for Sarah? King of swords. Yeah, this is definitely about you and someone. Talking it out, seeing the truth, knowing what's up here. Why is the eight of swords... Yeah, King of Wands. Ooh, it came up in reverse, which I don't take reversals, but with the devil. King of Wands in reverse, the devil is the worst abuse ever. Oh, I really hope that that's not you. Um, Like, I hope that's not happening to you. Yeah, that's why you're in your head is because you know you're being played by this person. You know that it's like you give your power. Unfortunately, you give your power away to this person. It's like just because y'all have a connection or whatever, you're like, okay, well, I'll cling on to that. But they're treating you terrible. And you know it. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Sarah? Yeah, you know your truth, girl. It's time to run. Okay, Six of Wands. You will be supported. You will be supported um, in, in, in this. People are here to help you. Um, but yeah, you definitely know. Even if I do feel this energy of like, even if, you know, your person's like, no, there was no third party or that's over even if they admit it because i do feel like ace of swords like they admit it and then it's like you find out and they're like well no it's over around the corner eight of swords you know you're being very suspicious or cautious like nope i know this is still happening i know this is still happening i know this is still happening okay and now i understand the page of cups so this is um Definitely there's a three, three's company is definitely a thing here for sure. 
Um, I'm so sorry to give you this reading, Sarah, but um, this feels very heavy and like a difficult decision for you. Um, and I kind of feel like you know whether you're going to either pick to be with this person or by choosing yourself will lead to the sun card. Again, will lead to your happiest days by choosing yourself. Okay, Sarah, that's what I have for you. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye.